guys, it's Ariel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome to part four of our Paris Apartment Transformation series. Just as a reminder, this is where we started. And by the end of this video, this is where we'll be. Buckle up, we have so much to show you. Oh my gosh, you guys, welcome back finally to part four of our Paris Apartment Transformation series. It has quite literally been months since we've checked in with you guys, since we've done anything to our apartment. As you can see, we've kind of stagnated, but today it was so warm and so sunny. So we took advantage and we really got our apartment set up and organized in a way so that we can continue on with our transformation. We cleaned up the balcony, we had all of our plants that were like blown over, dead, so we cleaned all that up. Um, we did the switch over of our clothes from winter to summer. We probably dropped off uh, like seven full Ikea's worth of bags to the local charity shop. You can see I have like all my winter stuff down there ready to go, <laughs> ready to go into our storage unit. Um, and that took literally the entire day today. So we don't have much time to do renovations and like drilling holes in the wall and stuff without annoying our neighbors. But we do have time to do two things. Number one, you can see we have detached our door. It was very easy, just like lifting up, putting on the ground. Um, I was worried that we'd have to like unscrew everything, but no, it took two seconds. And the reason why we detached this door and we wanna put it downstairs in our storage unit is because in that space by the TV, we want to put a desk. And I do have my desk right now set up in our bedroom, as you guys know. However, it's kind of annoying for both of us to only have one desk. It means that we're just limited in who can work and when. And the other reason that we want to put a desk there is because I want to get a walking pad. And in order to get a walking pad, even the ones that fold, we need the space. We don't have that space in the bedroom. So here, at least I can fold the walking pad out and walk while I work. So that's the idea for there. That's why this door is off of its hinges. The second thing that we're gonna do today, which does require a little bit of drilling, I'll show you guys, is over here in our hallway, you'll notice that we took the gross orange curtain off from the wall over here and we've cleared everything out. We're gonna clear that out next, but essentially, on the wall there, we want to put two coat hangers, little coat coat knobs. These are the two coat knobs we got. I love the color. It's kind of unfortunate that it's going in that dark entranceway. And we also bought a drill. <laughs> the other one that we were using, we found didn't really drill very well and it was really, really loud. So we decided to upgrade get something more modern and hopefully it will make the rest of the work a little bit easier for us. So yeah, without further ado, let's get back into the swing of things. Kejal, you ready? Stop, oh my gosh. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. We haven't even opened the drill, so. Oh, look at my Unboxing. Where did we put them? Okay, Jean got the first two in, and it only, I would say, it took three minutes. Yes, easy. But it's always so scary when you hear the noise, you're like, ah, I hope I'm not bothering him. But honestly, in total, it's gonna take three more minutes. Mm. It's not even 6 p.m. I think we're fine. Yes. Okay, let's finish. These are the first two we did. Only two more to go. Woo! I don't even know 
was going to fit through a door. That's nothing. I'm not sure the bottom. Okay, so the desk arrived early this morning. Sean and I both just finished work and I have one hour before my workout class. So we're gonna try and quickly set this desk up. We have to move this. I will just quickly add that our desk is obviously gonna go in the corner there. But that bookshelf, we have no idea what to do with. We're gonna move it to the corner over there. We'll see how that looks. If it doesn't look good, we don't really have a plan B. So if you have a better idea for where to put that bookcase, please let us know in the comments below. So we moved the bookcase, but like an idiot, I forgot that the door has to open and it can't open because it's behind the other wardrobe. And also there's an outlet at the bottom, so it can't even be pushed up against the wall. So that is a no-go for the bookcase. I don't know where we're gonna put it. We're gonna pause that for now. We're gonna set up the desk and um, yeah. Today is the day we are finally getting to the gallery wall. We've been accumulating all the stuff to go on the gallery wall for a very long time. And it's just like constantly having to be moved from one place to another. So I just want to get it on the wall. And also it's just blank white walls in this space. So I'm excited to add some color. Um, I've laid out on the floor kind of what I want to put on the wall. I'll show you guys quick. Can I have your phone? This is kind of just a rough outline of what I'm thinking. So first things first, and John, pay attention because you have to also approve my vision. Mm -hmm. We have two of these frames, if you guys remember from when I bought them at the auction house. And I picked this up when I was back home in Toronto this summer. So it's a, it's a flower vase that attaches in the back. So I was thinking the first thing we could do is the picture frame with the flower vase. Then beside the picture frame, we have a wood shelf. To the right of the shelf, we have the seagull that we bought on our trip to Greece. Below the seagull, we have the second picture frame. So the first one will be high, and then the second will be lower. Mm -hmm. You know? And then above that picture frame, we have some lemons. So that's the vision. What do you think? Uh, yes, I think uh, you have uh, a good vision. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna map it out with a pencil and we'll get back to you guys when we are drilling the holes.
all this took us only 30 minutes, which is surprising. This wall wasn't as hard to drill into as the other ones. This is what it looks like for now. I actually really like it. I love the the glass jars with the basil. I think that's really cute. We didn't put up all of the fruit, flower, and veggie picture frames. We still have two more. I think one of them is going to go on the desk in the corner to have like some art cohesion. And then we might put a second one on this wall as well. But over here, we saw these really cool decorative pieces in Galerie Lafayette. It was for almost every city, I think, around the world you could have one. But it's basically like a landscape. Uh, yes, a line. A line, a line landscape of a city. We saw one for Toronto, Fura, Paris. And so we'd really like to get the smaller version of that skyline. That's what skyline, skyline. Yeah. It's yes. it's a skyline of the city. And so we want to get one either Toronto or Fura and put it on the wall, but we don't know the measurements yet. So before we continue with more holes and these pictures, we're going to wait for that. And then here as well, in this picture frame, we need to put something. I know a couple of you guys suggested the Dior hand gloves that I also got at the auction. So maybe that, if you have other ideas, let us know. And then of course, I'm just missing some flowers mm -hmm. in the vase, but Jean can take care of that. But yeah, I think it looks really good so far. I like the, I like the colors. We've got pale pink, blue, green, gold, and wood. I think it looks really nice. Any comments? No, it was too easy. <laughs> no, I'm surprised. Yeah, honestly, we were definitely expecting, like, the wall where the TV is, that was horrific how loud that was and how we had to, like, hammer drill into the wall. So I'm kind of relieved, honestly. Uh, but yeah, that's all for tonight. I'm sure you guys can see that the sun has set. <laughs> and yeah, we'll check back in when we have more stuff. Okay, we're back in the hardware store, <laughs> trying to find some wood for two things. One, I saw a comment on my most recent podcast. Someone suggested putting a shelf over top of our doorway, and I love that idea. So we want to grab that. And we also, I don't know if you guys remember, but we have a sort of wooden garden box on the balcony that we didn't know what to do with. Jean emptied it out of all the, like, the roots and the dirt, and we decided that we want to use it as both storage but also a shelf for our tomato plants so in order to convert it to a shelf we have to pick up hinges but also a nice big piece of wood to sort of make the lid we're getting our wood custom cut Okay, we have to pick some spray paint. And I think I like that one. That one? Melon or rose? Mm. With the shelf. I don't know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hardware haul, really quick, because we have so much to do and the sun is very quickly setting. This is the shelf we got to put above the door. Very exciting. And this is the piece of wood that we got to put on the outside box thing. It's definitely ugly, okay? We know we wanted to get the nicer wood, but it was so expensive and it was way too nice for putting it outside. So we decided to get the ugly one, which was six euros, mm -hmm. and we're gonna sand it and paint it. We also got some more seeds because it's been so hard to find cherry tomato seeds that organic cherry tomatoes and organic radishes. We ended up going with melon. We liked the little peach color. And it's good because I think it'll go outdoors on the lid of the box and also nicely on these guys, which we're gonna drill to hold up the shelf. We got something to sand the wood. And also we got these hinges to attach the ugly wood to the box. So I'm going to start on spray painting these. They take about 24 hours to dry. Before I spray paint them, we're gonna measure them on the wall and Jean is going to pierce the wall. How do you say that in English? Uh, mm -hmm. Drill the wall <laughs> while I spray paint.
Good morning, you guys. There's two kind of fun things I want to show you. First things first, I want to give a little tomato plant update. These are germinated seeds uh, six days after I planted them. They're actually doing so well. In every divot of the egg cup, there's five on each side. I put three grains. So in some of them, you can see that all three popped up, but others are not looking so good. And the next mess I have to show you is on the balcony. So these are the shelf supports that I spray painted last night. They have to dry. I mean, they are dry, but it says to wait 24 hours. So we'll have to wait till tonight to hang them. But it was raining last night. So we made this like tent to protect them. But yeah, you can see the wind kind of destroyed it. But this is the color. Honestly, they look pretty cute. I mean, the paint job, not great, but we live and we learn. <laughs> Spray painting them was actually a lot harder than you would think. I had to do like three or four layers because I wasn't coating them properly. And it was so windy last night. It's kind of the thing where you get something and you're so excited to hang it up. So I, despite the wind, despite the fact that the sun had already set, I had like had my heart set on spray painting those supports but uh it was not the best night i think that i could have picked either way i'm excited we plan on finishing the holes over there and hanging it all up tonight delivery today and I want to open it right away obviously to show you guys but also you know how it is you know that the delivery system in Paris is chaotic I just want to make sure nothing is damaged or stolen <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate because this arrived so fast I ordered this yesterday like one day shipping is insane for Paris but the other part of this that I need to install it you could say won't arrive for another five days, so. Okay, I don't think we need to worry about it being damaged. It looks to be very well protected. <laughs> I also want to be really careful as I'm opening the box because it's something that I had hoped we would find in a secondhand store or in a garage sale. We haven't yet found it. We're going to a bunch of, they're called brocantes. It's like a street lined with people who are selling their old and used items. So we're doing that this weekend. So I'm still hoping. Um, yeah, just in case we do find something, I want to be able to return it. So I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the box. Oh my gosh, this is so intense. All right, so here she is. Let me unscrew this to give you guys the full effect. It's a shell sconce. Is that how you say it? Sconce? It's a, it's a light wall. It's gonna go on our wall over here. We wanted the shell specifically to go with the seagull that we already have on our gallery wall to have sort of like a marine space. And we obviously don't have any electrical wiring in this wall. So we won't actually be installing this part. We're literally just gonna drill it onto the wall. But the part that hasn't arrived yet that we need for this is the rechargeable light bulbs that I purchased off of Amazon. 
never tried them, looked up a bunch of review videos, were kind of skeptical on how bright the bulbs will be because ultimately we do want to have a bunch of different wall sconces, some wall lighting to get rid of that gold, <laughs> that gold lamp that kind of gets in the way every time we want to open the wardrobe. So yeah, this is piece number one. I'll back you guys up and we'll see how it looks with the seagull. Okay, so that's the vision. It looks a little bit transparent on camera, I think, but it's definitely a brown, a golden brown glass. And it's very delicate looking. Like this was 60 euros, we bought it on Le Roi Marlin. And I definitely thought that was kind of pricey, but it's solid, it's detailed, it looks very delicate. Um, yeah, I think it goes well. Like I said, though, ideally we find something similar, sort of like a marine theme sconce to put beside the seagull. If we don't, then we'll keep this. And if we do, we'll show you this weekend. <laughs> okay, this weekend we are doing some brocantes. We have one in the 20th day, that's where we are right now. Then we have one in the second, there's one in the 14th and one at Montmartre. So we'll see how many we get done and we're on the hunt for wall lighting. <laughs> Okay, that was short-lived when <laughs> we just left because it wasn't really the yard sale kind of vibes we were looking for. It was more like clothes and shoes and like grocery stuff. So on to the next. We made a quick stop at the gift shop of the Centre Pompidou, the modern art museum. I thought we could, I don't know, maybe look at the home decor stuff there, but we really just had to use their bathroom. <laughs> we made it though, to the Ville Grenier in the second. It's right beside Châtelet. find anything at the garage sales. The second one was definitely much better organized and had way better stuff at it, but there was just nothing when it came to wall decorations or wall lighting, so we didn't find anything. We're thinking that we're just gonna go on the website Le Bon Coin, which is like, um, it's like a Kijiji. It's a secondhand website where people, you know, sell things online. Um, but then on our way home, we did go into one of the funnest stores in the Marais called Fru. You guys would have seen some video clips. And we got two, two small items for our decoration. So the first one is this cardboard puzzle 
dragonfly. It looks like that on a wall. And oh my gosh, there were so many. There were such, like, there's beautiful animals. There was birds, fish, butterflies, just flowers. It was so beautiful. So it was hard to pick. But um, we wanted a butterfly. They didn't have the size we wanted, so we got the dragonfly. And this is going to go on our gallery wall. And then... Hold your breath, people, because this one is beautiful. I've been telling John for a while that I want to drill a hole in the ceiling. What the heck? So I've been telling John for a while that I want to drill a hole in the ceiling and hang plants down. And he was skeptical. And we saw this and I was like, absolutely not. Are we leaving the store without purchasing this? I was like, where's the chain? It's a disco ball planter and it has this silver chain. So it hangs like this and you can't see now because the sun's not out, but it really does sparkle when the sun hits it. And so we're thinking of hanging this on the corner there by the desk. It is a Sunday though, so we don't want to bother people with drilling. So we're not gonna hang these up today. You might have to wait until the next video to see us install these. But yeah, that's what we got. Sorry to leave you guys in suspense, but you will have to wait until part five to see us drill in our disco ball planter. Next episode, we also have to deal with the lighting situation of our apartment. And also, not to spoil too much, but we will be breaking out some cans of paint. <laughs> it's all very exciting. I hope you guys have enjoyed coming on this journey with Jean and I to see how we transform our space. If you have any suggestions, please let us know down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.